the Bitcoin mine is definitely making an impact on the city's economy. Last year, we took you inside the high-tech facility, and now it's expanding. And Anthony Montato got a tour today. He joins us in studio with a look inside. You guys, the facility is truly massive. Take a look at this. That's just the power station. In fact, like I said, it even has its own power substation just to help manage the 250 megawatt power output. That's about 10 times what it takes to power the entire city. There were some trees in a dirt field, right? It's come a long way and moving really quick. Fast forward two months and a sprawling tract of land is turning into a sprawling Bitcoin mine. We're halfway, you know, up the hill right here with uh, six buildings coming up. Each one as long as the Titanic, all of them housing computers just like this that crunch numbers all day to create Bitcoin. CleanSpark Chief Communications Officer Isaac Holyoke says that's why the company's posted record profits. He says more people are buying in and they need to help meet the demand. So they're expanding their Sandersville facility to become the company's flagship. There is more energy in Georgia than there is use for that energy. Sandersville City Administrator Judy McCorkle says that creates an advantage for them. Since the city manages its own electric company, it reduces bills for everyone else. Homeowners could see the benefits on their property tax bill. At some point, I could see that property tax being rolled back to almost nothing, almost zero percent. And that's huge for us. CleanSpark site manager Bo Ginn says those effects will be even stronger after they expand. We're sending over six figures back to the city each month, and you know that's going to be very significant uh, coming on post expansion. He estimates they'll pay $500,000 a month in taxes alone. That's about six million a year. That money is money that the city wouldn't be getting. You know, it's going to schools, to roads, to, to other community infrastructure that uh, you know may have been neglected for a while. Clean Spark says they hope to have the facility up and running in the next few months. What's going on, everybody? I hope you enjoyed that clip in the beginning here. In this video, I want to talk about Clean Spark. They reached 10 exahash. We're also going to look at Bitcoin on the chart as well as Clean Spark. So let's get started. If you like these videos, consider hitting the like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. Check out the links down below for some free stocks and cryptos. Consider joining my YouTube membership to show your support. And let's get started. So first off, the 10 exahash news. This was just posted a few days ago on Clean Spark's X page or Twitter page, and they mentioned how they got to 10 exahash. Our software efficiency gains are setting the bar high as we swap out older ASICs for the newer, more efficient and minor XPs. We increased our hash rate by nearly 50% in the last five months alone. And hopefully I'm not in the way of the corner here, but you can see that CleanSpark is hodling more than everybody. Here's Bitcoin sold as a percentage in September 2023. You'll see CleanSpark sold 12% of their Bitcoin that they mined, and that's great timing. I think now is the time to be holding more Bitcoin and selling less because we all know what's right around the corner. Now pulling up CleanSpark on the chart, you'll see we're still in this general downtrend, this descending channel. And initially that just looks really negative. We've just been falling from eight. But when you zoom out and see where we were about a year ago, we are still holding this general uptrend. You can still see that we're following our general uptrend that was established back in 2022. Now looking at the EMAs, you'll see that we are trading under all three and they aren't in the order that we want. They're in a bearish order. We have the 200 above, the 100 in the middle and the 50 down below. We want to see the opposite order. You can see where the MAs are concerned. We are trying to test the 200. We're just hovering right on it. They are in a good order, a bullish order. However, it does look like the 50 is very close to breaking the 200. So just looking at Clean Sparks chart, I would be a little careful. We do have some mixed signals with these indicators here, but I want to turn you to Bitcoin's chart. It looks very good. And I'm extremely impressed that we're still just hovering in the $34,000 area. You would expect with how overbought we are, we would have seen a considerable pullback by now. But no, we are just still hovering right around 34,500. And you know, one thing to realize here is if we do break this 35,000, which it does look like Bitcoin's trying very hard to do, which is very impressive considering where we just were. It seems like just yesterday we were in the $25,000 area. But if we're able to break this 35, I do think that's very possible to push us all the way to 37,500. We really don't have a lot of history trading anywhere from 35 to 37,000. And I do think a breakout of 35 would take us right around to 37. And out there in social media, it seems the sentiment is still pretty negative. Bitcoin didn't pop and immediately pull back. No, we are holding $34,000. And you know, if things do pull back, that's all right. And for me, that's expected. I honestly wouldn't be surprised to see us trading right around 32,500. But I certainly don't want to see that break. I don't want to see us trade under 32,500. And I think it would be healthy for Bitcoin to pull back a little bit consolidate, get a little more neutral on that RSI so that we can take our next run up. And then that next run up can be a larger percentage because we're not already overbought like we are here. 
If we just pop from here, I don't think it would sustain for very long. What I want to see is more consolidation, which we're starting to see. Let that RSI cool down and then have our next breakout of 35,000. But to me, Bitcoin is still looking great, still just hovering right by that 35,000, which is extremely impressive considering where we just were a few weeks ago. It seems people are so quick to forget where we just were. And everyone's always saying more, I want more keep moving. This is dead. It's not moving. We'll zoom out and you'll see that we're already more than double from our lows. CleanSpark included. CleanSpark right now is right around 150% up from its lows and I do expect a lot more to come. And to me, right now is still a great buying opportunity for both CleanSpark, Bitcoin, and many other Bitcoin miners. But let me know what you think down below in the comments. Sorry this is kind of a quicker video. I've got my kids with me, but I just wanted to bring you guys this 10 exahash news, feature that clip for you. Things are still looking great for CleanSpark and Bitcoin. Thanks as always for watching guys, and I'll catch you later.